This video will demonstrate the required instrument and trunk line connection changes to go from MIHPT to OIHPT operation. I will start by adding the OIP interface to the MIHPT instrument set. The USB cable that was connected to the field laptop is now going to get inserted into either of the two USB receptacles on the back of the OIP interface. I will also then add the power cord to the OIP instrument. Next, I'm going to remove certain MIHBT trunk line connections from the instruments, starting with the electrical connectivity and HBT wire connections, followed by the HBT water injection line. Next, I'm going to move the 62 pin serial cable from the MIP controller and insert it into the receptacle on the OIP interface, which will allow the DI acquisition software to properly load in OIHBT mode. Now I'm going to connect the electrical connectivity jumper to the EC connection on the field instrument and that of the OIP interface, making sure that the EC wires are in the top two positions on each instrument. Next I am connecting the control and video cables to the OIP interface, which will connect the OIP trunk line to. You will push in and twist until the fittings are secure. Now we are ready for the OIHBT trunk line. I am first going to insert the HPT water injection line into the press fit connection. Notice there is no HPT sensor connection in OIHPT mode. Next, I am going to connect the two trunk line chrome connectors as displayed. HPT power and signal come through these cables into the OIP interface and are transferred to the controller via the serial cable. Now at the front of the instruments, we will bring our field laptop and connect the two USB cables between the OIP interface and the computer. First, we'll connect the USB cable labeled video and then the data cable. You can check for proper installation of the drivers under control panel and devices and printers. With the instruments powered on, the software should now load properly in OIHPT mode. 